What's up guys, it's MJ Prokeeper here. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to turn a Rubik's Cube fast. So, I assure you, after you follow all these tips in this video, you'll be able to spin a Rubik's Cube pretty fast. Like, I, I wouldn't say you'll be a master at it, but you'd be able to spin it, like, at least, you know, pretty, pretty, you know, fast, I would say, yeah. So first things first is if you don't have a speed cube, like because this is essential, if, you can do it with a Rubik's brand. Like this is my Rubik's brand here that I've got. Um, you can kind of do it, but see that happens. So not gonna really be like unless you set this up like. For so what I did to this was just put um, petroleum jelly or Vaseline in it. It actually only really works for Rubik's Ring. So you can't do that. <clears throat> doesn't really make it any good to turn. Like, it just makes it smoother. It doesn't make it perform really better, really. So yeah, that's out of the question. So to, I definitely recommend buying a sphere cube. You can buy them for like a $5.00 under ten dollars you can buy just a beginner's speed cube for under ten dollars alright guys so this is pretty much where you can buy speed cubes from like um so if you live in Australia the best store you can go to is pretty much this one here speedcube.com.au it's pretty easy to remember just you can buy a speed cube on here for like literally under ten dollars like so as you see here I'll go sort by price low to high Oh, not high to So yeah, so pretty much, look, all these speed cubes under ten dollars. There's like ten of them you can choose from. I definitely would say this one here is a definitely good, very good one. This one right here, it's only seven fifty. It's pretty much good. I have it right here, and it's actually really good for you. Yeah, so you can just choose different colors in that. But yeah, so yeah, this is pretty much one place where you can get it from. If you live in America or the USA, the best one would be, it would probably be this, if you live in the USA or America, this is the best place to go to, as it's in America. And you can buy 3x3s for definitely under $10, that's US dollars. So you can get this one here, Mofeng Jiaoshi MF3S, two US dollars. So yeah, that's yeah. So that's pretty much the best place to go to if you got a, if you live in America or USA, definitely worth buying from there. But yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Yeah, back to the finger tricks video. All right. So once you've got that, it's pretty much all up to, um, just practice really practicing these finger tricks. Like, so in order to spin a Rubik's cube fast, is one get a speed cube, which is pretty easily just go buy one and then now the hard part comes in where you got to practice moving the cube like yeah so the first thing you got to learn is how to hold the cube when you want to do it so the best way to hold it is probably just hold it like a like kind of like that at the back and then like just it takes time to get really good at it like it's pretty much just hold it like that and then you just go, just practice doing this one move. It's called the sexy move. I know it might sound a bit weird, but it's pretty much the easiest move to do and the most, it can be performed at fast speed. So it pretty much is just up, across, down, back. So you pretty much just go lift this on up like this. And then as you do that, you use your index finger to just spin the top. And then you bring it back down, use the left index finger to spin the top back. So it can be performed pretty fast, like if you get you practice it a bit. But that's just the basic finger trick, which is the sexy move, which is just up, down, cross, you know. Yeah. So that's just the basic of it. Um pretty much the next one is where it gets a bit harder, where it's like using these F fake pretty much it's a bit more trickier, but Depends which way you find it easier. I find it easier, say if you're doing this algorithm where you got to try and build the cross or like solve the thing if you want to. It's easier just to go like, so 
So like re grip it, hold it in this same position as you start with the sexy move. So you pretty much just go there, but then you use your index finger to spin the front instead. So you just go from here, you just go spin the front, lift up. It's just, that's pretty much the basics of it, just using that to just spin the front like that. Just try and practice doing that over and over, and then practice putting it together. So that, which is pretty much this move combined with that. So that's pretty much the basics of it. So yeah, um, not much to do about that, but yeah, just practice that and you should get good at it. The next one is the M slices. So. The M slices are ones where you flick the middle. So, first things first, I p recommend practicing just flicking the middle because some people will struggle to do that. But if you have a speed cube, you shouldn't. It shouldn't be that hard. You just gotta like use your if whichever thing you feel most comfortable with your ring finger or your um root finger, I guess. Yeah, middle one. And then you just like use it to just press that while you flick it. So like when you flick it, you just go, just practice on that. Once you've got that down, you can practice with the U flick as well, which is generally done with the opposite. So you don't really see people going like, like using the same hand to do the move. Like I can do it, but that's because I'm used to it. But generally you use the other finger because like it's hard to get flexible to flick. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. So you use the other opposite hand that you're flicking it with, so you go flick with this finger yeah, so that's pretty much all you gotta do, just go flick, try and flick it with that so yeah, that's pretty much the basics of the M1, so you just practice going flicking it with that, like that, with your root finger, or your ring finger if you feel like it's more comfortable and you just go that, and then you add in a flick, so you go See, once you get to that stage where you can just go like that, that's pretty much you're good. Like, and then there's some more advanced techniques to this, but I recommend just getting used to the beginner. So, like, you should just always pretend you're holding it like that, so like that, and kind of like stick your fingers there, index fingers there, because those are the two most used fingers you use, like in cubing, like when you're trying to think trick it. You always use these ones for spinning the top layer. And then for spinning the front, you just gotta like re grip and then go like that. Or if you wanna lift up the right, you just gotta re grip and go like that. So, yeah, just mainly practicing those moves and you should be able to have it. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty much the video. Like, that's just the beginner finger tricks. There are more advanced finger tricks, but once you. That's only really good if you wanna. If you already know how to do these perfectly. Like, if you can just do those flawlessly, like. Those type of finger tricks where you just go use both your, you're pretty much just using these fingers and like to just spin the top in that. Once you've got that down, then you can get ready to move on to the advanced techniques. But besides that, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you get better at spinning the Rubik's Cube fast, I guess. Like, that's pretty much things you gotta do. Anyway, besides that, MJ Pro Cuba out.